Hello and welcome, it's S tier 8. Today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription, Casey's Mod. And I think today I want to try a little variation on uh, what I've been doing. And I want to take out my points using Pricey Pelt, Snow Clover, and I think I'm going back and forth between No Hook and Smaller Backpack. But I think I'll go with No Hook and I'll get 15 points. Um, so let's try this out and see how it goes. I would really like to try to get a 15 point run done all at once, so let's see what it looks like. Don't do a lot of pelt trading anyway, so I think that having that limitation isn't going to be a huge impact on me. Okay, well we got some good starter stuff. Um, now getting an elk on the board might be interesting. Um, we had a cockroach also that is unkillable, so that's pretty nice. Um, I'm tempted to say let's go with elk and maybe a cockroach as well. It'd be good to have something unkillable that I can use its sigil for later. And let's go. Let's see, we can either do a sigil or we can do a wood carver. I think we'll go straight to wood carver. I always like to try to collect good things. Alright, stinky. That's a no brainer right there. Okay, first fight. I'm going to try to move quickly because I'd love to get two attempts in today if time permits it. Alright, an elk fawn that is going to burrow. Which is interesting and a porcupine so i feel like putting down the bullfrog in the middle lane may be a good idea so that we can take out our elk fawn in the next turn okay all right time to draw here we go and now that we've got the elk, we should be able to just put it in front of the porcupine and um, call it a day. And we can even almost have enough bones to play the cockroach, but not quite. Okay, now we can play our cockroach. Get some excess damage too. It'll help out if we need to trade for the higher cost pelts. Um, let's see, a second wood carver if we go this way, we still have all of our items. So I think that makes the most sense. Depending on what we get here, we could target the um, second beast. Oh, uh, now combining two alt cards, I have a duplicate already. I don't really care about rattlers and turkey vultures, so that sounds like a no-brainer to me. That'd be hilarious. Oh, look. We could get the pronghorn head and the stinky elk. It's overpowered. Alright, this is looking like a pronghorn run. Oh, he's doing it too with uh, waterborne pronghorns. Just getting rid of that elk pawn will be a pain. I guess we need to figure out a way to attack its lane pretty quickly. Could put down the stoat. I mean, it's going to go underground, though, right away, so. We'll at least get it on the board. And go from there. Probably will do a tooth pull soon because they're not super useful anyways. Here we go. And I think that the mole is going to block the stoat's attack. So it'll just be chilling out there for a turn or two. Unfortunately the elk is now powered up. So we need to get something strong on the board. Perhaps the wolf. A 
I'll put it over here in its lanes, own lane, so that Mole will come out for it, and uh, that'll be that. We don't have enough to play the cockroach quite yet, but we will soon. Oh, I hope that doesn't win. Okay. So say I may have miscalculated, but it looks like I didn't. Okay, still not enough to play. Um, Wolf is going to do plus three, but I think it's going to break even due to the situation we have going on here. Um, Stoat's going to damage the Sparrow, and next turn, I think, as long as we draw something, we should be able to get this um, Cockroach on the board. Hey, there we go. This will be even better, so... Let's take out our stoat and put it on a stinky elk. There we go. Good, good. And another elk. Good. Hmm. Guess we can get some... No, that won't get us enough excess damage. Okay. Alright, so we could go this route and get another item, or we could get this route and get a sigil swap. Tempted to put the cockroach on either the wolf or the elk to have an undying one of those. Um, kind of seems to give up a bone consumer, but the cockroach is probably not ever really going to get that strong anyways. Um, so maybe I'll put it on one of the elk. Having an undying elk would be pretty cool. Alright, we spoke. Another one for the pronghorn family. Okay, here we go. I do you think it's better than putting on the moose box if it's so high cost? And hopefully I'll be able to combine the two elk and retain that sigil. Okay. What are we going to do now? Raven Egg coming in. It'll take out the Snowy Fur in two turns of hits. So I could save up and get the Selk upgraded. I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Not upgraded, I should have said played, period. So it'll take out the Raven Egg, and I think it will be on a good path from there on. Okay. I think that we could play the Bullfrog just to block some of this Porcupine anger that's going on. It'll die because of the spikiness, but it's okay. Alright, we'll go ahead and play the stoat to take out the porcupine. The elk should take away the raven egg. There we go. Ah, the moose buck. We will swap out for it so that we can have the pleasure of having played it. There we go. Kaboom. Ah, a regenerating elk. Or unkillable, I should say. Good. Another pronghorn. <laughs> Wild bull. Ah, uh, two sigils in a row. That's not good. Um, could put the bullfrogs on somebody else. Let's see. I guess we'll have to do it, sort of. Um, how about on the wolf? That way it has a, a little bit of a specialty going on. 
Okay. I think that we have to make another sacrifice. It's not ideal. Um, we could put... kind of like to keep the moose box. Maybe we will take out the wild bull. And we will put burrowing on the stoat. Why not? A little bit of a rough loss, but I didn't see the two of them. Oh, hey, Wizard Max. How's it going? Nice to see you. All right, time for the trapper. First boss of the day. He's always a frustrating boss to you. Not doing well, just enjoying some nice round of inscription. All right, who are we gonna send out here? Stowed is burrowing, which is interesting. Um, we'll just put it on the smoke right away, and I think that we might as well play the stoat against um, the trap since it's cheap and hopefully give it a bit. Good to hear you're doing okay. Alright, let's see. Kick it as an elk started. Um, having a little bit of an uphill battle though with this situation. I had to play the moose buck for the pure damage that it does. It'll equal out somewhat quickly. Let's um, block here and we'll play an elk against the bullfrog. I think that may make the most sense. The strange frog. There we go. It's looking fine. Okay, we're gonna have a trap that's gonna take out our elk in the next turn, unfortunately. So we could sacrifice it and instead have it attack the moose buck attack mid lane because it'll overpower um, the other stuff. So I think that I will do that. We're running out of cards pretty quickly. Oh, I had a misplay there. Forgot about the moving. That's not good. Oof. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I may not be able to recover this one. <laughs> Did not expect this run to be so short. Um, I guess we'll put the pelt down there and continue on. Alright, wolf, you're gonna have to do your thing. There we go. If that'll be enough for us to win this match though. It's looking grim. Oh man, what a bad misplay earlier. Okay. I think I can only trade out one of these, so which one is it gonna be? Worker ant with a kiss of death. That sounds pretty nice. Um, maybe I could take it. And that's it. So you're just gonna have to take it and run with it. Um, the skunk is stinky. 
and we have a five attack power guy here, card counter. I wonder if that's just the value of all the cards on that side or what. Um, Worker Ant does have the kiss of death though, and could take out either of these lanes, so the wolf should take out most of that row. Um, and the skunk is stinky, so let's put the worker ant down right here. And I should have enough to get the elk started too, so might as well get it started over here. There we go. And I think that's it. That's all we can do. Okay, starvation's gonna start settling in. Okay. Here we go. Alright, I think I wanna have just enough for it to work out and be a win. Oh man, that was so close. I was holding my breath. <laughs> wow, that was very difficult. Alright, I've got to get a card that consumes bone because I had a lot of bone and no way to use it. Ah, Child 13 and a Strange Larva. Um, Child 13 is a pronghorn and so is the Douse. So, oh, that's a hard choice. I guess I'll go with 13. Okay, I think I'm going to go the route with the items because I am out of items and I really don't want to sacrifice a card just for a bone token. Here we go. Hey, a cockroach. Welcome back to the pack. Alright, scissors are always a great choice. I think airborne is a good one. And we'll take a squirrel since I only have one bone requiring card. Alright, well, I'm feeling a little bit better about my situation compared to how it was before. Um, let's see. It'd be nice if we could take down that pronghorn pretty quickly. Um, Child 13 could do some attacking on it to start, I suppose. And we'll use it as a sacrifice um, towards our elk to get it powered up. Plus it's stinky, so that's great. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And let's see. All right, another squirrel. Ponghorn's gonna take out child 13, unfortunately. Okay. Let's see, we could take out the pronghorn by putting our moose buck on the board. Um, however, I kind of hate to get rid of the elk that quickly. So let's just keep it going. There we go. It wouldn't have mattered anyways. I already tipped the scale quite a bit. Alright, should I do a power up or a sigil swap? I'm thinking... Let's see... Picking a power up may be the best idea. Yeah. Let's go that route. Having child 13 with some power on it um, in all phases would be nice. Pronghorn and an elk fawn. Um, let's do the pronghorn since it has multi directional attack. Okay. What kind of power up do we have? Two health. Okay. Um, well, I think Child 13 makes the most sense, so it can survive at least a little bit of damage. Okay. Here we go. Oh, 
All right, wolf cub and sparrow. So we could start off the stoat attacking the wolf cub and it could get a hit on the sparrow as well. I think that might be a good opener. Because it's going to move over, over but it's burrowing. So that was a tongue twister. Um, and of course, because of that, it's going to miss the wolf cub entirely. <laughs> um, now I could get the moose puck in front of it. Um, however, we're definitely going to have some problems no matter what because of the incoming wolf. Hmm. What way would this work out? So they're going to do two damage here and um, another three. So they're going to tip the scale in their favor pretty hard. Like, actually might win if I don't do something drastic. So... Let's, uh, going back and forth between a card cut and the squirrel. I could do the airborne, but I just don't know if we're going to have enough here. So if I play the squirrel, I could sacrifice the stoat and get the moose buck on the board and take out the wolf cub and then the sparrow, but it'll still be plus four on the board. Um, moose buck has a lot of HP though, so I could take out the sparrow and the wolf would be blocked. So I think that might be enough. So let's try, let's try that. That might give me just enough coins to play the cockroach as well. So let's play the cockroach here. Here we go. Perfect. This is what I needed. Okay, an elk. I think the game is ours now. Okay, and let's keep it rolling. Getting a lot of hits on the board, but not enough to make a big dent in things, I'd say. We'll be able to play the cockroach again sometime soon as well. Here we go. And we'll let it carry on. Perfect. Well, thank you, Wizard. It's uh, been a really fun game. I've enjoyed finding little tricks in it. Okay, well, we could add a wild bull to our team. Um, I don't know if we really care about having the beehive on our side. It would be kind of fun, but I think it will stick with our pronghorn run because I've enjoyed the theme of it all. <laughs> so, alright. Let's see who needs some attack power. I think child 13 would be ideal. I really hope that the card doesn't get burnt. Let's do it. Okay, perfect. Now it'll always do some attack and it has some viability with its defense. Hey, I've got a fungi event at the end of this. tough one. Um, I kind of want to save a turn, but they're going to do four damage if I don't put something in the way to block them. So having somebody down is going to be important. I guess taking out the coyote makes the most sense because um, I can get it in a turn with child 13. And I can use child 13 sacrifice towards getting a pronghorn in the next turn. Here we go. Okay, and let's now get our pronghorn played. All right, child 13 is alert and angry. So let's um, go ahead and hit it. All right, so child 13 will 
take damage from the porcupine and ultimately pass away when it attacks it on its next turn. Oh, actually, I forgot about the stinky, so Pronghorn will do one damage against it, but still ultimately die, and Child 13 should destroy the stoat in the same uh, turn, it looks like. So I think that we're still good. There we go. Okay. All right. Choose a type or um, get random cards. I think we'll do a type. Let's see if we get offered. I think bone in particular is something I'm hoping for. We've only got the cockroach and it's so weak. We kind of need a good bone card. So ah, rattler. Not my favorite. Cost is just a little much, I think. And kind of wish I'd spent my items, but. Let's see, you can have a blocker. I think that is a little bit worth more than a teeth puller. Okay. Fun guy, guy time. Perfect. Here comes our super elk. Oh, it's beautiful. Four and eight. Perfect. Alright. Time for the prospector. Okay. All right. How should we take this one out? Really like to get the pack mule destroyed quickly. Um, and a child thirteen in front of the Cody that'll reduce its damage. So we may just go ahead and start with that so that we can sacrifice it in the next turn to power it up and get the wolf on the board as well or possibly the stoat. Either way we're gonna lose you know cards in this phase so that's always a difficulty with this part. Um, let's go ahead and get our wolf on the board. Oopsie, there we go. And hopefully that'll rupture the pack mule quickly. Okay, and here we go. We'll take out the wolf cub before it gets powered up. Here we are. I always forget that child 13 becomes airborne too, so I gotta remember in that regard to be careful, you know. Okay with this situation because I think we've got enough good cards in our hand, especially having a black goat that we'll be able to continue forward. So we'll get this moose buck into play pretty quickly. And we have enough bones to get the possum um, running with this too. Okay. Oh, we could even play the rattler and get rid of the bloodhound right away. There we go. And the possum can take out the coyote. Simple as that. Okay. Looks like it's going to be GG already. Cool. Well, this team is just doing great. I hope that the angler fight will go similarly well. That one is just always kind of a tricky one. Alright, what do we have in here? All right, we could get a child 13 uh, combo, but combining them just is kind of difficult, so I think it will keep that off. Um, the Gek having zero cost is really nice, and that's tempting. But having a pack rat that can give us an item, I think might be the better call. All right. Onward we go. So let's see. 
We don't need items currently. I kind of hate to miss a cave event, but there is a cave event up here. And we could duplicate something, so that would be a good chance to duplicate our strong elk or perhaps our pronghorn in anticipation of a fungi event. Um, I wish I could see if there's another one on the board, but let's just head this way. Okay, um, now the rattler being combined with the other rattler for a 6 and 2 would be kind of nice, but it's just not enough defense that really lets me down. Um, I'm really torn here, so maybe we'll get the rattler and either sacrifice or combine them. We'll see. Okay, let's make a duplicate of, I think we're going to do our elk. I don't see a good reason to do child 13. Um, and what else do we have here? And we could do the pronghorn, but I'm not sure if you can combine two, or a duplicate with an original during the fungi event. So. Let's just do the elk and we'll see if it's possible. If it is, having 8 and 16 would be nigh unstoppable, I think. Alright. About to go into the Cave of Secrets here in a minute. I don't know if you can combine two sod into um, one. I, I need to look that up because I am curious about that. Okay, Rattler is going to take out the stump immediately, so that's not good. Bullfrog is going to start in on us pretty quickly too. So maybe I'll play the boulder in front of the bullfrog just to buy us a little time. And I could get the stoat started over here just to get us some sort of damage going on the board. And we'll save up for other things. Okay, um, let's see, could get a pack rat or we could work towards getting our moose buck down. We're gonna get three damage there and a fourth with that, so that's not good. It's tempting to snip, but I'm a little bit worried about doing so. Um, we could clear the lane with the pack rat though, so maybe we should just do that. And we'll get another item too. Okay, it's a tooth pull, but at least it's something. Another Rattler and an Adder coming in, and they're also doing that extra damage. It's just a lot. Hmm. I think we're going to do the tooth pull. That'll at least buy us a little bit of time. Okay, we're getting into the now or never territory, I think. So even if I cut this, I think that I'm bound to lose this one, unfortunately. And I've used up um, my item. So if I cut this, the Rattler's going to come in and take me out. Um, so I'm down to just two damage left. So either way, I think they've got me. Um, I could cut and then put a squirrel down and the squirrel will be sacrificed, but I just don't anticipate getting another thing quickly. Um, well, I think that's it for this. Just have to let them uh, win this one. Hopefully we'll relight it on the uh, next one, you know. Yeah, it is a pity. That was a rough match. At least worst thing is I missed getting teeth. You only get one chance to beat a boss anyways. Six health, uh, two of the kind, or four power. I feel like four power could work. Got several that should help us out. There we go. That's it. Eight. We'll just go ahead and double that goal. <laughs> All right. Um, 
ringworm that blocks and lets you find a card. That's pretty funny. The pronghorn that's a sacrifice and a dam builder. Or a stinky, spiky wolf cub. We're doing that one. That'll be nice and annoying. Alright, a sacrifice. Never enjoy the sacrifices. Who might we want to get rid of? Um, maybe the rat, one of the rattlers. I hate that I have two of them. But a six and two rattler sounds pretty nice if I could get bones, you know, for it. But it's still pretty weak. I mean, it's only two health. Um, so that's a hard one. I don't think I want to sacrifice child 13 because it's pretty viable now. Cockroach being four, it's kind of rough. Um, let's just go with the Rattler and we'll see if I can combine the two elk. That would be really impressive. So let's just do the Rattler. I'm not sure if this is the best thing, but we'll try it. At least give getting that Cockroach or that other Rattler a chance at being had. All right, so pelt trading. I don't think I have any pelts, and um, I'd rather do a cave trial anyway. So let's um, go for it. All right, beehive elk. Forgot that I also have that going on with it, with the duplicate that was made. It's pretty funny. All right, Bullfrog and Rattler. Rattler is going to take out the stump in just one turn. So thinking we need to save up for our elk friend. Okay. Here we go. And that'll be it. The elk will take out the bullfrog too and just continue its rampage down the street. And we could block off. I guess we need to take out this adder. Um, fortunately, that rattler is going to come in and be a problem here in a moment. Um, what could we do? What could we do? Neither the wolf nor the stoat can survive an attack. Oh yeah, yeah, sacrificing child 13 would be a good idea. I need to, uh, hopefully I'll get it in my hand again soon. I guess we'll do this. That'll get rid of the adder. Um, the rattler is going to do three damage on the board, which will put us over either way. Um, so maybe I should use... Hmm... If I use the fan, that would give us four or five and get us almost even and might buy me enough time for the elk. I don't know. This is a hard one. Thinking through a lot of scenarios. The adder is going to kill my stoat if I let it come in, though. So, the elk's going to eliminate that row. The rattler is going to do plus three damage, though. And that's not quite acceptable. I could cut a card and have the elk do a lot of damage though. Maybe that would be enough. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Um now we have a stinky bee coming in. I think it, we could play it um, right in the middle of things. And we should be safe with this setup, I believe. So it's going to move in front of the rattler anyways. Oh, I forgot it's burrowing. That's what it does. Okay. So we really need to get something down on the board to counter that rattler. Elk is going to do 4 damage and 
keep going. Um, I think I'll sacrifice the bee and get a pack rat down instead so we can get us an item recovered. There we go. Oh yeah, I'll definitely sacrifice child 13 as soon as I can. I uh, I did it, I think, once and it worked out pretty nicely having that airborne ability. <laughs> Here we go. Man, it's charging me with gex now. We will uh, sacrifice so we can get a wolf on the board. That should be the end of it. Okay. Alright, sigils, health, and power. We have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen sigils. I think that we can win that one. Alright, good. Okay, a cuckoo that's a dam builder with a high sacrifice value. Cockroach that can give us an item and it moves too. Um, and a pronghorn that blocks airborne and is a dam builder too. So we still have our other one. We can combine them and we still have two strong elks. So maybe we'll just do that. That could be a awesome combination for the fungus event. Oh, and the second some fungus events up there too. Cool. We're going to find out real soon what we can do here. Ah, you can combine them. Awesome. I think for now, combining the pronghorns makes it most sense. So that they'll have two attack power and directions and um, six health. So that's excellent. Okay. Um, I don't think I have enough for two more fungi events um we have the elk and that's it so do we have a sigil swap we want to do perhaps um the cockroaches on child 13 perhaps hmm or maybe on our mega elk situation I could also see what other sigils might we want to change out. Um, yeah, I'm curious about how that sawing will work too. If it'll like go through the horizontal way like you mentioned, that'd be interesting. Um, the wolf cubs sigils getting applied on the wolf instead could be really nice a little bit afraid of having so many things that require two blood though so maybe i'll keep it as is and hmm so the other route is an item one and we could use a full backpack um it's unfortunate i don't know how well these two fights are going to turn out but let me go with the non-sigil fight, and then we can go from there, because we can at least make this choice without having to worry. Depending on how it turns out, it might influence our next decision. All right, B and a worker ant and a skunk. I think I'll leave the skunk where it's at, since it's stinky and not going to be attacking anyways. And I could take out the worker ant um, instead. So I'd like to pull my uh, wolf cub first though so that's a little bit of a hard choice let's go with the wolf cub over here and we'll let it grow up and see what happens i should put it in front of the bee actually that would have been ideal oh well okay and Let's draw this, and um, 
What about... I'm going to get two damage there. And the third damage coming in off of it. So, one, two, three. We should be able to survive this, and the wolf is going to do plus three damage anyway, so... Yeah, we're good. And the mantis isn't going to be able to do anything because of the stinky. That's right. Alright, so we could play another wolf and wipe out this line. Or we could get our elk started. And it's rampage. Elk is too good. Okay. And Elk is going to take out the skunk anyways, even though it's stinky. <laughs> Too strong. Alright, moment of truth. We definitely don't want to go the two fungus routes. Um, sigil swap for items. So, let's double check. We can combine up. I think we only have elk for our combinations. We don't have doubles of anything else. Um, sigil swaps. I don't see a... I don't really think I see one that would be worth doing, per se. Um, I'm tempted to say let's just go the item route so that maybe we can do something We'll see. I think in the last one it's only trades. I forget what is in the final boss. There's definitely, definitely an item and I think definitely a sacrifice. And I don't know if there's anything else. Maybe trading for pelts for cards. Hmm. I'm blanking on what's out there. I could go this way and get a guaranteed particular kind of card, so maybe getting a bone card and an item and a fungus. Maybe all that will work out better. Okay, quartz maggots, we can take it. And let's see what kind of item we have up for grabs. Um, squirrel, an airborne, or bones. I think that we'll go with squirrel. Okay, the angler fight is coming up right after. Alright, mega elk. <laughs> Let's see how it cuts it. Oh wow, the card is like all fractured. Interesting. 8 and 16. So it did do a kind of different look on it. I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if you have two cut ones, if it'll just be like completely wrecked or if it looks the same as that. Very cool. Alright, what can we do now? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would think it's possible it could go for more. Let's do... I really hate the bait buckets being there and ha having things that are going to move around. It's not ideal. Um, huh. It's not good. I guess putting a stoat down as a starter. Maybe right here. Well, that was bad. That's going to be a misplay and a half. Um, corpse maggots should replace it though, so maybe it'll be okay. Hmm. I may have to get out the black goat. Yep, that was a misplay, and that lost it for me. That was that was bad. I. Should have thought that out more. Wow. It was such a good run, too. I didn't even get to use the Mega Elk. Oh, man. I can't believe I undid that one. 
Ah, let's play another one. That was me getting excited and thinking I was going to beat it. <laughs> so let's do another one. I'll try to move quickly again, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that was a bad play, man. I agree. That was uh, a tough one. Okay. Um, let's see how we can recover, though. I'm not sure I like any of these selection, though. Let's see. Maybe we'll try for ants this time. And what about our secondary? I guess we'll go with the mantis so that we can stick with insects. All right, don't need that. Um, if we could put the sigil on something, I guess spawning ants from a wolf would be kind of funny or the stoat but yeah maybe let's do that because ant queen um would add to the attack power well I, I don't know actually what about having an ant queen that is a little bit more of a tank and can attack in two directions that would be interesting to double its power so if we get the ant power thing going, um, could be pretty strong. Okay. Um, there we go. So case in point, if I could get it on the board against those sparrows and take them out. So let's put down the bullfrog since it has airborne blocking. Man, I can't believe how quickly I lost that angler. I, I'm just still thinking about that misplay and geez, that was just... Total, uh, total misplay. Here we go. Now we're going to spawn us an ant, and we will get to use it in the next turn. Now the ant queen is going to do four damage per attack. Here we go. Game over. Okay. Well, let's see. I guess we'll go with the alpha. We're going to have something. Um, might as well be an alpha. Alright. Um, let's do... It's the airborne. All right, we could have our ant queen that attacks in two directions. Um, however, having that coyote, it's going to be a tricky situation. Um, yeah, this is not ideal. Let's do. Let's do this. Um, hate to have to use it so quickly, but I think it, we're just not going to have any other choice, really. That'll get us some damage on the board, at least. And we should be able to play our alpha pretty soon. There we go. Not quite yet, but very soon. Okay, and now we'll play our alpha, and this will definitely be some over damage. Good. We're just about to go to the trapper too, so it worked out great. Oh man, if we can get a nice sigil that either makes the ant stronger or generates ants, I think we could have a lot of power here. And <laughs> the trapper was driving a hard bargain that day. All right, can we get a golden yet? Nope, I guess we'll settle for a wolf pelt. And that'll be it. Better than nothing, right? All right, woodcarver. Ah, a cuckoo head. Let's get the insect, or a cuckoo torso, I should say. 
continue on. Man, so sad that I didn't get that elk going. That was that's gonna be on my mind all day now. Alright. Um let's see. Stoat. Might as well play the stoat. I think it we don't have much of a choice really. And I think that they're going to bring on too much damage, unfortunately. Um, I could get the wolf to eliminate one of them. Stoat's not going to do quite enough damage. Um, so that's not good. I think that I don't want to have to do it. So let's do this. And... Put him there. It'll be close, but still possible, I think, to survive this. Alright. Um, Stoat, or the um, wolf is going to do just enough to break even on this turn, I think. Okay. And an ant queen. Nice. So they're going to break even again and I don't have enough to play so I think we're just going to have to do it. Alright. There we go. I was going to say he's got to give up soon because now that I have the ant queen it was just going to be a really, really big uphill fight. Um, so we could get some enhancement stuff going. Be interesting to get the Ant Queen enhanced at least a little bit. Um, but I hate to mess up on the wood carver and a luck draw here, so let's just try this route. I like to get the sigil going. Alright. Cockroach with um, a blood generator, so might be a hard one to trade for, but it could come in handy, I suppose. Alright, airborne blocking or moves to the right. Neither of those are particularly enticing, but I guess we'll go with airborne blocking just to have something for our ants. Okay, let's see if we can get something enhanced. Okay, I'm going to do the Ant Queen just so we can keep her on the playing field a bit longer. Especially with her having the uh, bifurcated attack. I think she could be good. Alright. Let's see. Stoat seems like the best idea we could get the smoke put down to generate, and we'll take out the coyote on the next turn. Okay. And here we go. Could do the wolf pelt to uh, block the damage from the coyote. Good, good. We also have enough for the alpha now. So that'll do enough damage we might be able to get rid of the pack mule before getting to the next phase. Good. And looks unfortunately like we're gonna get to the next phase, but that's okay. Um we'll just keep drawing cards while we're at it. Quite enough for the next phase, but we're very close. So I'd like to put down the cockroach, but I'm a little bit afraid to, because I know the alpha is going to do damage, and so is the boulder. So we'll just let it 
do it just in case we can get her that pack mule. All right, there we go. Didn't quite get it, but we're pretty close. It's better than wasting a card otherwise. Okay, the bullfrog. How about we play the cockroach? And we can get the bullfrog going too. Okay. So, let's draw from here. Ah, now we have wolf. Um, wolf, we could get down. If we did us a little sacrifice, it'd be nice to take out our bloodhound issue. There we go. And cockroach can go back down to hold the fort. Okay. And wolf will take out the pack mule on this turn. Nice. And we have the nank queen. Good, good. So let's get the, I guess we should get the Ant Queen down. She'll be able to survive a couple of turns against the Coyote. And we could get War Grant down as well, that would be nice, but I don't think, I mean we'd have to sacrifice the Wolf and I don't think that makes that much sense. We're gonna win anyways. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um let's see. Tempted to say pack rat, so we have an option to generate some items. But child 13 is pretty nice. It just is uh, hard to get upgrades on it. So I think we'll do it anyways. I do like that card a lot. All right. How many pelts do we have? Have a wolf and a rabbit. So that enough to go trade? Um perhaps, or we could go for a cave and a sigil swap. I, uh, I wonder if putting, um, alpha on something like alpha's ability onto the ant queen or something might be interesting. Um, however, I just don't know if any of those are truly worth it. Um, we don't need another item. We could use a boost of, of power so and make a trade. So let's just go ahead and go this route. All right, hair pelts. Um, we could get us another ant queen. Combining them up later would be pretty exquisite. Um, let's see, beehive. There's a way we could get some bees going. And the ringworm would allow us to play against the um, fireplace upgrade area. Um, however, we would lose, you know, opportunity going forward. Um, I mean, lose that, you know, particular upgrade opportunity. So it's kind of a hard one to take. Um, I think I will do it, though. Maybe it'll be worth it. It's always hard to know if this is the best idea, but we could end up just getting a powerful ringworm out of this too, if they don't eat it on the second turn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have a strong ringworm. <laughs> Alright, that's how it goes. Alright, a raven egg. Let's uh, throw our bullfrog in front of that. 
There we go. Ah, oh, the alpha's coming in. That's not good. Yep, not good at all. Alright, Ant Queen. I think we're ready for you. There we go. And we could go ahead and play Cockroach just to uh, get some damage done on that Raven. And um, we will put down our Worker Ant in the next turn. And of course the cockroach is airborne, so it's not gonna do damage. Um so let's get another ant down. There we go. That'll increase our power on the board. Alright, perfect. How many teeth do we have? It's like only a couple, so I don't think it makes sense going um to the trapper and Still don't see really a worthy sigil swap. Um, perhaps taking Night Queen's ability off of this one and putting it on somebody else would be a good idea. Just to start generating ants more cheaply. And then you gotta have the... Um, I don't know if the power would go with it. That's the only thing I don't know about how the sigils work, if it'll also transfer that. Um, hmm. I mean, we could try, but I'd kind of like to go to the power up route, so let's just go this way. Alright, come on, insect. Yes. Alright, plus two health. Let's see. Having the alpha for longer, so it'd be more viable. Might be a good idea, but let's do child 13. And... Ooh, I could do it again, but I'm afraid to, so we'll back out. Having three health is pretty nice. Um, I really don't want to sacrifice the card. There is a fire up here, and I could uh, pick a particular beast, so I think we'll do that route. Okay. Let's uh, put our beehive down to get us a freebie and um, I suppose we'll have to go from there. Okay. And we will play I guess the stoat and the bee. So we need to get rid of one of those elk fawns, or else they're going to be a liability. And um, we'll do a teeth bowl. We need to get some items. I think that this will put us in a safe zone. Here we go. All right, not horrible. I get we still gotta um, hold on things here. We can get rid of the elk fawn and let's see. I think that there won't be too much damage. We can handle this situation from here on. Oh, and now the elk's gonna attack. There we go. All right, what else do we have? Not much. Um, I think I am going to lose this round. Fortunately, there's just too much damage on the board now. We've got five, and I can barely get the Ant Queen down, so we'll just um, play it for the heck of it, but yeah, it's not going to be enough. Um, I think that Airborne Sigil is kind of messing me up a little. I didn't even mean to click. That that stinks. I'm, I was going to actually get a squirrel, but um, 
I don't think it would have mattered anyways. So we would have only got plus four and they're going to get plus five and one away. So. That's the way the cookie crumbles on this one. to go with the wolf so that maybe we'll have something it can combine with the other two. Okay. That'll at least give us a duplicate that we can use. Alright, plus one power. Let's go with perhaps child 13 again. Or the beehive. That'd be interesting. We'll do uh, I'm tempted to say let's do the ringworm so that it can fight some. If it ends up dying, then so be it. Okay. Well, they're going to be poisoned, so... Um, either way, I think it'll go towards something. <laughs> this is pretty funny. What a meme of a run. But you never know. You could win. We'll see. Alright. I think Bullfrog is going to have to be used against these elf fawns because they are going to tear us up quickly if we don't get rid of them. And how about that's it? Okay, and let's do another one of these numbers and. I think it, we're just going to have to keep it like that. Yep. Too much damage. Not looking too good. Um, we could play the alpha using um, our bones over here. I think I'm going to have to have a chance. And it can help us get rid of the help fawn and then I can play the ant queen over here and that'll get rid of well, it'll do two damage over here and get rid of the porcupine so I think that's gonna be our only chance really oh yeah it's airborne of course man I keep forgetting about the airborne hopefully I'll get a sigil that replaces that um, here in just a moment it's just not good with the um, ants when I'm going for attack power. There we go. Okay. Alright, how many bone do we have? We have two bone. I think maybe a three blood might be better than a bone one. Okay, a grizzly. Okay, who would we duplicate? Um, if we did child 13, we could have a strong one that has six defense on a fungi event. And um, we could have a really strong ant queen or else we could keep one so we can keep generating cards. We have a very powerful grizzly or a wolf. Well, we've already got two wolves though to combine. Um, an alpha with better stats could be nice. I've never really tried for something like that. That'd be interesting. Let's uh, let's do child 13 since it you know could have six health points. That's that's okay. Oh, only four. Ah, oh, that's rough. All right, skink tell. I think it'd be better than the airborne situation, so let's do it. Maybe we'll get a better sigil next time we run into the woodcutter. The old 
difficult fight. Um, we could put down a beehive and kind of buy us some time against the frogs, however. So let's do something like that. Okay, that'll buy us a little bit of time and we can sacrifice a bee against um, something else like this little trap over here and instead get our um, child 13 maybe in the next play. We'll put the bullfrog against this one so we have two lanes cleared. Oh, I should have left room for the bee to flee so it could have left it tail behind. Ah, I just realized if I had a high powered or a high defense, um, what you do, ye? High de defense beehive, I could, instead of had it um, generating bees. So now I realize the reason to have a strong beehive. <laughs> okay. Let's get, um, let's see, I think we do want to get child 13 down and we will put down a pelt. Well, I could trade, so what are they going to do? Two damage? Okay, we can take that hit for now. All right. Um, now we should be able to get our, our, uh, ant queen going. So let's put it down. I guess it might as well be here in front of the rabbit and we will just have to kind of wait. Okay. There we go. Excellent. And we could play our worker ant against the adder. Good. Fortunately, we're going to lose our ant queen, but at least we're not receiving damage and kind of self sustaining now. wolf so I mean, we could play it but it's going to get overran by the traps so might as well um, collect another pelt and let things keep rolling there we go well, having this wriggling at uh, leg I think is actually paying off a lot better than the airborne was earlier there we go Now we're going to get three of his cards. Or four of them, actually. I wish we could keep them after. All right, let's uh, see. We've got a couple one-hit killers here. So in a high prong attack. So I think that taking out that may be a good idea and the stinky pronghorn and the worker ant. Um, there we go. I don't think we can go wrong with these. I mean, we've already got this kind of overwhelming firepower as it is. Um, so I guess to start off trolling, maybe getting worker ant down would be a good idea. Oh, we can actually sacrifice the leg too. I didn't know that. Okay. And that may be it for now. Okay. And our ant queen is sitting there. Um, we could get our pronghorn that's stinky down, or our one touch um, killer as well. Let's see who has our highest HP. I guess the pronghorn and the Cthulhu monster does. Um, let's go ahead and do our 
pronghorn in place of the wriggling leg. Since we have a kingfisher, it's going to be taking this on anyways. Oh, he's a bat. I thought it was a kingfisher. Um, okay, let's do this guy. There we go. That should be over damage on that. Okay. Kiraeuli and a mole man. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Gek. Why not? Especially if we get a chance to power it up since we sacrificed our super strong ringworm. <laughs> Maybe uh, sort of viable. Alright. Five bone three sigils, and six life. How many sigils do we have? Three sigils needed. So we have one, two, three, four, I don't know if that one counts, so I won't count it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so ten or twelve. We'll just do this one. Okay, we did it. Perfect. Okay, a turkey vulture that generates bones and is stinky, a worker ant that burrows and is airborne, um, blocking, or field mice that grow stronger and are alpha. Um, well, I kind of want the worker ant because we're going for a worker ant attack force, but field mice that make others stronger and get stronger themselves sound like that might be a better idea because that could get you know a pair of field mice or uh, of ants stronger so black coat could let us get something more powerful so maybe we'll do that and we already have an airborne and a black coat so let's just get a squirrel kind of a classic setup um let's see what do i have i have i think the Let's see, I couldn't quite tell what sigil I have. Um, so would I rather duplicate something or not? Could try duplicating something powerful or having another cave trial. I think I'll go this route because I'm still holding out for a better sigil body. Um, I'm at least better than I was, but surely there's something even better than the tail. Okay, um, let's see about this. Maybe we could put down um, child 13 and let it take a hit from the bullfrog. Okay. Now we should have enough to get the ant queen started. There we go. And we almost have enough to get the alpha going, but not quite. And Ant Queen, thankfully, will take out the Rattler, and Child 13 will take out the Bullfrog. Oh, I forgot the Ant Queen is attacking diagonally. That's not good. All right, good. She got out of the way of the Rattler. Um, now we should be able to play our booster. Um, so we'll do that, and we will get us another worker ant on the board. Wow, that's going to be a lot of power. Wow, that worked out really nicely. That was the kind of mix of attributes I was hoping to see in a match soon. So, great. Bravo. All right, four power, six health. Or three sigils. I think three sigils is a no-brainer on this. Got it. Easily. The very first card, actually. Alright, a cuckoo that is 
um, Waterborne, and um, let's see, what's this called again? Mighty Leap. Okay, an elk fawn that generates bees, and a cat that burrows and has many lives. Um, I think I want to go with the elk fawn. Okay. Let's see what we can get on our woodcarver. Guard dog. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm kind of enjoying the wriggling tail a little bit better. Or waterborne. Yeah, I don't like that a lot. Hmm. Maybe I'll go with this head, just in case we want to swap out. Would we rather somebody else? Have some powers. How many dogs we have? We have a wolf, an alpha, another wolf, and I think that's it. So we have three of them. So maybe we'll just stick with the wriggling tail situation with our insects. Okay. All right, beehive and a rattler. So I kind of like to get this beehive in front of the rattler so we'll generate a bee um, that can then be used to kill the rattler. So why don't we do that? Oh, uh, we're gonna get a wriggling tail out of this. So I'll at least put defense on the board. Okay. And now we just have our beehive lane is blocked unless we sacrifice. <laughs> okay. Um, so we can get the stoat to take out the rattler instead. We almost have enough to get the cockroach. Okay. Um, I think that this might be a wiser choice. And we don't have enough for either of them. We need bones. Rattler's going to come in and take out my stoat. And don't think that there's much else I can do. May end up having to just lose this one. I kind of don't want to use my items. All right. Um... Well, we have enough to get the alpha down now, or the cockroach. So let's see what we have here, an ant queen. Okay, um, alpha could be used to take out the rattler. And how much damage we have? We have room for two. So that would, that would, Let's see, how much do we have? Two to lose, so... Hmm. I don't have quite enough. I could use a squirrel and sacrifice my beehive, though. So, let's do that. We'll play this. And we will play my ant queen. Um... Perhaps, well, if I play it right here, we're going to lose. I could play the goat, though. Here we go. And we still need to get something else off the board. So, fortunately, um, I think I've probably misplayed my order here. So, yeah, getting rid, yeah, getting rid of these isn't going to work. Um, I need to, I should have played something like this instead to be able to survive and maybe that'll pan out. 
So, a bit of a weird order on things, but I think that we can still possibly, possibly turn this around. Playing the cockroach won't hurt anything. And I could play our wolf. However, I think we're in a good spot with what we have now. Good. There we go. Alright, field mice will play fecundity. And we uh, don't have quite enough here, though, I think, to be able to turn this around. Um, if I sacrifice something so that I could get the, let's see, worker ant will take out that guy. And we still have two adders, and I'm only one damage away from losing, unfortunately. Um... Field mice are going to power things up, though. So if I could just last one round, that would be fantastic. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could get five on the board if I used just this, and then use the fan and that would get us five damage so let's just try it it's a little bit silly but maybe it'll be enough to like turn this around a bit okay now we have enough bones that we could get a cockroach played that'll take out one of the adders and now we only have two damage to worry about um and we've got a black goat we need to get rid of anyways. So let's do it and we'll sick out the wolf against the skinks. Here we go. Great. And now we can get the field mice on the board. Yep, and wow, that, having that extra boost, that's pretty amazing. Um, so we could boost up. I wonder if it'll boost them infinitely. That would be in interesting if it does. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> would have been funny if it did, though. Okay. Well, they did flip over, so they did boost. Um... Interesting. I won't see it get to do it again, but that was interesting. Alright, fungi. Who would we be able to combine? I guess wolves would be a possibility. Um, the child 13, but it's kind of a weak combination with the with zeros and the threes, fortunately. Um, what about... The Ant Queen would be a possibility. I do think that I'd like to keep up with this ant run that I'm doing. Um, let's do it, because we have a cave event, you know, as well. So maybe we'll get something that helps us out. Four Blood, um, Three Sigil. I think Three Sigil is the winner again. It's been our lucky thing so far. All right, first card. They did it. Let's see, what is this one? Rabbit hole. Generates us a rabbit. Okay. A raven egg that is many lives and unkillable. I think that is a no-brainer. Because if it gets attacked before its transformation, no problem. Alright. Fungi time. Alright, child 13 could be made more viable in its defense. We could have us a strong wolf, or we could have an ant queen that is super buff and attacks in multiple directions. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say 
wolf might make the most sense because we want to keep generating ants. So let's just do it. Good. Plus it would be needing four blood to play the two of them versus we can have, you know, one blood for child 13. And maybe we'll combine them in the future if it makes sense to do so. Okay, I think taking out the mantis makes the most sense since it attacks in two directions. Um, let's see. Kind of want to get child 13 on the board though. And we'll just put it here for the moment. And in the next turn, we should be able to get the wolf going. Okay. So we'll do this and do that. And our bullfrog will be gone along with our mantis. And the bee will do one damage, but we should be able to survive that. Oh yeah, child 13 is airborne right now, so yeah, that's uh, putting us kind of close to danger, but Wolf is going to really turn things around here in the next move. Okay. Here we go. Three sigils. Let's see if it uh, strikes again. Ah, another ant queen. Um, oh yeah, duh, that was from my hand. I got excited thinking that I just earned that card. I'm getting loopy from playing too long. Um, <laughs> okay, so a turkey vulture that takes eight bones. Ah oh, man, that's tricky. Sparrow that is airborne and waterborne. This little guy. I think we'll go with this one since it's one blood. All right. What do we want to do here? For potential duplicates, we have child 13 and an ant queen. I think that might be it. Um, so I don't think that we want to run through it twice. For sigil swapping, um, I could see maybe taking the Elk Fawn's beehive ability and putting it on the other Ant Queen so that every time it gets hit, we're getting a bee out of it. That would be kind of ideal. Or even putting that on the Grizzly, that would be nice. Um, we also have a Power Up Opportunity and a Wood Carver. Don't know if we need to power up that bad. It would be nice for child 13, but we don't know if it's attack or health. So let's do this route. I think that we get two good things out of this either way. Okay. Um, fortunately, it looks like it didn't select one of my um, cards for the other one. Let's see. I wanted to see what were our options. Yeah, it's not selecting the cards I wanted on either of these. Um, Beehive on a more powerful thing could be nice. Like the Grizzly, just continuing to draw bees would be pretty cool. Or even the Wolf. Hmm. It's more likely that we'd be able to play the wolf in a given round than the grizzly, so let's do this. Okay. Combination time. Let's go with getting child 13 buffed up. Okay, good. All right. Angler 
here is always the one I fear as far as the difficulty, so this will be a good one. Be nice to get it over with. Okay. It's double direction ant queen attacking. It's going to be tough. So we don't want to hit the bait buckets like we did last time. <laughs> um, Child 13 could survive a little bit. But I think I need to put down the smoke to start. And could get Child 13 down in preparation for something else, I guess. Um, tempted to say, let's wait and see what our next card set is. I need to do that so that I can have the angler go after something else. Okay, he's going to pull up the smoke if I do nothing. Um, but also if I do nothing, we're going to have some trouble with that. So... We need him to pull something up. It'd be great if he could block the Great White because we can make it another round. And I can get the Ant Queen position here to work on taking out the Raven. Um, and I don't have quite enough yet to get the Grizzly on the board, unfortunately. Um, can I sacrifice for smoke? I can. That's interesting. Um, Child 13 could block for two rounds, and the smoke could be pulled up against the Great White. So, maybe that would be our best call? Um, let's, let's try it out. We'll do this, and we'll put a squirrel down so that he'll have something to yoink. And, um, I don't think we want to put the Ant Queen down yet. So, I think this is it for now. Okay. And, I forgot again that he would grab like that, so... What else can we do here? I have to do something. Um, we'll generate an ant, and we won't have quite enough attack power to take out other guy. Child 13 is going to go airborne though, so that's good. And we would hit the bait bucket, so if we can play. Over here, that would be ideal, but we're going to get too much damage, so I'm thinking this might be the end of the line, unfortunately. Um, but we can generate a um, a grizzly. However, grizzly is going to not be able to block enough here. Um, Hmm. Let's try doing this. We'll play like so, and we'll get the worker ant down so that it gets pulled over for the squirrel. And I don't think it'll be enough, but let's just try it out. I just hate that he doesn't pull on that turn, because that would have made a difference. Um, having the thing that continues to attack us is going to continue to be a problem, I think. I don't know if we'll be able to get rid of it. Um, so it's going to be the same problem. The Ant Queen will wear this down a little bit more, though. So let's just keep it going. It's going to be so close, really. Okay, and we'll just uh, keep it up.
Okay, maybe we can turn this around. Alright, the grizzly would survive and he'd pull it over to the side if I put it in front of him, so I think that the thing that makes the most sense would be to play a squirrel and let that worker ant um, stay on the board. However, if I do that, he's uh, maybe not going to pull it. Um, and it would hit the bait bucket. That would not be good. Bait bucket shouldn't attack right away though, so I'm thinking I can save this turn and just let him go. There we go. And he should pull it now, I think. Come on, pull it. Ah, nope. Alright. That might be the end of us. Um, if I could get the grizzly on the board, we might have just enough attack power to hold on, but he's going to do 8 damage. Um, so, I don't see this one going our way. Not being able to kill these guys is really a cause for hurt here. Um, Cause they're going to get plus three if they take out my squirrels and, you know, which they will. Um, or I could get the grizzly down and survive a little bit longer, perhaps. Let's just uh, see what happens. It's going to be so close, unfortunately. These great whites are just too powerful. Yep. And that'll be the end of it. Because um, we won't be able to take out our own grizzly. And... Ah, I think it's just a bad run of luck today. It's funny, uh, the angler kind of got me both times today because I made a really silly misplay first time and enough uh, mistakes here the second time to let them get me, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, I felt like I was doing well too, but Casey's mod just ends up finding really creative ways to uh, get me in the end. <laughs> All right, this has been S Tier Rank. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.